Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. We were going to go to the bank at 9 o'clock, and then I phoned and found out it's not open until 11. So I thought, well, I'll do this video first. I have two orchids that I have been in the pot for a long time, and I didn't go back and check how long. And if you're real smart, not like me, you're putting dates when you repot your orchids so you know when you repot it. But I do know that this one's in the larger bark and it has quite a few aerial roots which just haven't grown overnight and I just broke one. But I'm not going to worry about it because I found when I trimmed all the roots off of the one in the big traffic cone and I used to see that. Now, if you've watched a lot of videos like I have, uh, some of the greenhouses and some of the places where I've watched videos and they trim the roots right off and I thought, oh my God, that can't be good. You know, let me what, know what you think, but I have always tried to cut the least off as I can. But when I went back to that traffic cone and I cut all those roots that had been outside off and I trimmed everything, it's just growing roots like crazy. So, apparently, because the roots that were there were healthy, it wasn't a problem. Now, if we're talking about a pot that's been so soaking wet and bad conditions, then you don't want to take anything off but the mushy ones and hope that you might get side sprouts or something. But I've also seen them trim them off. So, don't know what you think, but the right time of the year, so I'm not too worried about these ones that are coming out the sides, but we're going to repot two today, so I better quit gabbing and do this. <laughs> and I, I just tried to do this by closing up on the sink and doing it some different ways. It didn't work out, so I'm back to my routine, but I'll make sure you get a good look. So uh, I'm gonna just move this chair out the way. And Maggie. Okay, Maggie, I'm sorry. You'll have to go in your little bed. Okay, now we're going to try and come in a little closer. And I'm just move that a minute. And we'll go right here. Down a bit. I have to, I'm not, I'm trying to do this because sometimes people really can't see what's happening. So if I can stay out of the way and do this at the same time, we'll be doing good. So let's dump this out. Now, I watering day was on uh, Wednesday. I watered a day early this week. So we're gonna see just how dry conditions I operate under. <laughs> now some of this bark is not looking too bad. Now that's because I always say, and you're going to see, you know, some of this bark is really looking not too bad. Some of the bottom bark might be shown, but the top bark, that's one thing about all bark. There's nothing really too wet in here. Now, the ones that are looking a little, I'm just going to pull these roots that are in, that are going out. I'll pull them in. I didn't soak it first because I wanted you to see exactly what I was seeing. So here we have this is exactly what I'm seeing. I'm going to pick some of the bark off. Here's some old roots from before. These are top surface ones, probably from misting, Carolyn. Well, there's some damp ones there. We'll take them off. And there's some old ones right in the center here. Okay. I'm not going to worry about the floor. Okay. Now, if I wash rinse this off. Here's one I don't like, so I'm going to trim that one off. And I took my pruning shears and I put them over the gas heat 
So I'm going to take this one off at the top. Now it still could get a side shoot, so I'm not taking it all off. It still could do something. These are probably from the repot that I never went back. I, now I very methodically go back and, and check. I'm going to take that one off. Okay. Now I've been soaking my bark for three days. And uh, I also put a little bit of my blue algae in the soaking water for the bark. So that'll be good for roots. Yeah. There's nothing disastrous. There's a few that I don't like. So I always, uh, the bark is, I'm going to show you a close up. Okay. Some of the ones that look um, darker, they're still a little damp. Now these are the ones that really should not go back in the pot. The ones on the upper surface, yes, they're drying quicker. But uh, watering day will be Wednesday or Thursday. I'm not worried. So um, let's really check. Sometimes if I'm doing a video, I don't look good enough. Well, I think that's all I see. Um, these ones were outside the pot. I'll probably put them outside the pot. Okay, this little rascal. Whoa. Some of them will go along the top. Some will go out. There was about these ones out. So here we are. <laughs> I'm just going to put it under the water and give it a little rinse. Just lukewarm water. So, uh, it's getting a new leaf. It has a little split in it. Um, but other than that, it's not too bad. And I see any, nothing, nothing really to worry about. I think we've cleaned it up pretty good. So we'll just take this bark and put it over here. It's good for the compost. And, yeah. and I'll just rinse the pot. Here's the inside of the pot, what it looked like. It's pretty clean. There's nothing else in there but bark. Now, I, I put some broken up mortar in there with the bark. Now, and that's all. I used to use charcoal, but uh, because uh, charcoal is a sweetener and it's for dampness and uh, water sticking around, and it's a good thing. I used to use it, but now I just use bark, but I don't have trouble with water sitting around. So, I have in this bucket over here. I had to use a big bucket because I knew I was um, I knew it was going to be doing two. So it's pretty wet. I've rinsed it off. And we'll put some in the bottom. There. And then we'll take our plant. And some of these, yeah, this one was out, the darkest green. The rest of the green was in, I could tell, because this is the one that was a little bit broken. So the light green was in, but the dark green was out. I'm really not too worried about it. So anything dark was sticking out. Let's go back in the same pot. So we got that one and that one, the light green, we're in, and I think we're good. There's one here, this one is going to go around, what, 
There we go. That's something. Like I said, <clears throat> I'm not going to worry too much. I'm going to get it all the roots in there. And it'll be happy. Okay, now I'm going to try and get it centered. Okay. Now let's try and hold it up and get some bark in there. Now I'm going to put my chunks of mortar, which is for calcium, on the top and then every time it, it gets watered, uh, they will leach a little bit. Um, there's a piece, it, it's off an old brick and it's very good, I've read in many places, it's very good for these and it's a slow release. Um, probably faster than eggshells I've read. So that's going in like that. But still it is a slow release. And we have uh, calcium in our water here, but so this is just an extra. So other than other than bark, there we go. We're getting it in there. So I just kind of wiggle the pot and try and get this all down in all those roots. So this is never pre-planned. <laughs> well, it was planned to repot it, but as far as um, looking at it first, no, we just go ahead and do it. A lot of time an old root will get a side sprout coming off it, so I leave them, but I could probably cut some off. I, I, I'm still leery, but you know, you do see them do it, and they seem to do fine, and I think it sure didn't hurt the traffic cone. So, And usually I take the, the core, and I kind of wiggle it a bit and it helps the helps the bark go down into the little areas and it raises a bit because I don't want I like to have mine a little high in the pot although there's no moisture because I don't put anything on the top that holds moisture there's no moisture that's going to cause this area I've never ever had um, uh, it, a rot never uh, so, because it's in bark, it's dry, and of course, the top part is, is what dries first. So I've never had any problem with uh, rot from moisture. Now, when you're misting, you have to make sure you're not, like every day, misting the top of the media, because that will cause you problems. You can mist the air, and as, as I said, I have a little bit of fertilizer in my misting water. So it's a foliage feed also. So, um, whoop, here we go. So I think we've done pretty good. We got one done. And we'll put it over there. I always go back and sort of touch them up. <laughs> so let's empty this other one out. Whoops. It looks... Uh, Almost like you're at the seashore after a storm. <laughs> okay, I'm going to adjust this. <laughs> it looks like, yeah, it looks like you're at the seashore after a storm. I don't know if I can get down there. Yep, that's what's happening down there. <laughs> so, okay, let's get ready to do this one now. I'm so messy. This is sort of an experiment. I'm not very good at moving the camera around. But anyway, we're going we're gonna to dump this other one out. Oh, I've got a root here. Oh, okay. 
I have to go back and deal with that, but I see it's got a little crack in it. Oh yeah, look at this. So I, I got a, oh, I got a little tiny, I got a little tiny, um, right here. I'll see if I can get it, if I don't slip. I've got a tiny little bend in this one. And you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to just wrap this. <laughs> I'm going to just dig some of this bark back. I'm going to take this root. I'm just going to lay it gently. I'm pushing that bark back from the side of the pot. I'm just going to leave it kind of wrap it around. It's, it's not quite an aerial root. It has been close to the pot. There. There. So it's still under cover. It's sort of, sometimes if you get aerial roots and you don't want them going everywhere, you can take them and let them kind of wrap around the outside. So, yeah, we had to go back and doctor that up. Okay. There we go. That's better. Okay, let's see what we got here now. There's my uh, clip jack made. It's one of these. Some people said, did they get rusty? A little bit, not much. They've been there a long time. And then I know where what goes on it. And it clips on. Okay, let's see what this one, this one looks like. I see it has a root coming right in here. So it's definitely needing repotting. Some of these have started to sprout on the end, so we don't want to lose them. So let's see. You know, some people are surprised I'm just embarked. Now, our, our humidity here, sometimes it's uh, 70 if it's raining. And maybe in the house, it's, it's around 60. Um, but if it's been dry a long time, it will go down to 40. So in the winter, we get that because of the heat in the house. And in the summer, we get it because of no rain. So um, even though I have a bark, on the drier, drier days, I make sure my humidifiers are on, my Mr. Foggers, and it's a cool mist. And I make sure I miss them. But, but on the moist days, I just open a window, a little crack, and let some of that humidity in. And even though I am in bark and uh, dry media, that one's stuck. We don't want to lose it. Um, they seem happy. And I figure the, if, you start, if you have too much moist stuff in your pot, well, then you have to uh, probably repot more often than I do because I usually go, um, there's one here and it's stuck to the pot. There, I got it inside. Even though these are, uh, have porcelain, they're still on the inside the yard rough spot and they will stick. Okay, we got that one. Now this one, he's stuck. He's going to go in here. There. Okay, how are we doing? We're getting there. There's a couple more stuck here. This is what you find when you have one that's been in a pot for at least a couple of years. Oops, we broke one. We broke one. It happens. It was stuck. You can see the flat edge where it was stuck and it broke. Okay. So now I can show you something. Okay, here's how it looks. Now there's some new shoots coming. These are the ones that were hanging outside the pot and this is the one that broke off. But it still will get a side. In fact, it still can get a a side shoot. Where is it growing from? 
Okay. I don't know. It is just the tiniest little hanging out of this. See this older root? Now those have grown as side shoots off an older root. And that's one reason I just don't take them off. Because these green ones here are growing by the slightest little amount off of this older root. And here too. This is where one was broken off. You can see here. And then here is where one, it kept growing. It's greener. So, um, now what have we got? There's a dry piece. Like I said, my most often thing is a dryness. And I don't worry about it. I, my watering days, now in the summer, I'll probably, if it's dry, 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 I'll be watering an extra day. But other than that, I don't worry about it. So, this is what we have. And there's nothing rotten. And, of course, we have this new root coming in here. And uh, now then it can go happily and grow out in the patio. I don't worry too much about some of these that are really stuck because, like I say, these, and you can look real close, these are not um, deteriorating or rotting. If they are, I'll... Um, take them off but some of them I just don't want to and the bark seems fine so we got lots of stuff for the compost and this is how the inside of the pot looks looks pretty good so we'll put some bark in the bottom this time I made sure I had enough bark because sometimes I don't there's lots of roots here. I haven't given it a little rinse. It won't hurt. Now, watering day, I'll probably just give this one a quick run through. Just a rinse. Because it's new bark and some of the color from the bark does come off for a while. So it won't get a, a big soak. But, um, okay, this one just had a little, little... That one can go out there. I'm putting some of them back. And this one, it had a new shoot coming out. That one I'm not worried. Okay, those are in. And this one can go out a little bit. Some of them are just peeking out. And there, I'm not worried. <coughs> Okay, let's get some bark in there. There's some really old leaves in here. This is one that was all rippled. The leaves were all rippled and wasn't sure how it was going to do, but they, it struggled. That's why some of the leaves were small and uh, it's just got this new leaf coming. And so I'm sure it'll be happier in its new pot. And of course now, I'm going to show you the difference. This is the large bark I was getting. It's been quite a while since I've used it. See, now I'm going to put some pieces of my new bark. So that's large bark. And this is the medium bark. So actually, the medium bark is even going to be better than this large bark because it's going to hold more humidity and I'm on the dry side anyway. But it's not going to be too wet because it is just bark, but it is going to be better than the big bark. I have found that they've been quite happy. Did you notice that dendrobium is still in bloom? Amazing! I'm getting another. Uh, I'm getting another disease. <laughs> I'm gonna love dendrobiums, but I told myself I'll wait and make sure that it actually flowers again next year. So. Okay. 
So this is what I do. You know, um, I don't repot any when, when I'm not on video. I like you to see exactly, even if it's for <laughs> exactly what's going on. And uh, if there was some that were outside and now they're in, well, they'll get used to it. <laughs> or when I check them out, I might check them out again when I bring them back in. See how they did. See how, how much growth happened. Oh boy, I, I'm going to use all this bark I brought in. So, so you want that to go into when there's a lot of roots in there. You want it to, and I always kind of pounce it with my finger and shake it a bit by grabbing the monopodial stem. So, should be happy. And soaking this in the seaweed extract has been very good. Now, I bought mine online. It came from Vancouver Island. But I know uh, in the States, you can get it too. Um, it's one thing about shopping online. We've had to shop online more because some stores, there's a lot of stores not open. So, anyway, I'll clean that up after and I should take my shoes off and just run in the <laughs> okay okay let me see if I can do this let's just back up back up there <laughs> okay well um thanks for joining me how are you guys doing are, are you getting tired of this it's strange <laughs> my daughter came and bought me some pussy willows if you see them there and when we were um, always um, in the spring even when she was little we'd go hunting the bushes for for pussy willows you know one of the first signs spring is really here and I like to bring them in so she came over because I had some extra pots out in the gazebo that uh, she can use because she's planting a bunch of stuff and uh, she bought me pussy willows, and I thought that was so nice because I, I used to get in the truck or the car and head up the hill and look and look, and then of course they're always somewhere where it's a little uh, where I hate to to hike now. But she loves the woods, as you know. Her head is better, and luckily that uh, um, uh, that tick that went into the top of her head was a wood tick, not a not a deer tick. The deer ticks are the ones that cause Lyme disease. So thank goodness for that. She's all healed and back in the woods. <laughs> She's a farm girl. <laughs> she just loves outdoors and and I'm glad she's happy, so that's the main thing. I wonder how you're doing. How are you guys doing? Like, <laughs> are you getting tired of cleaning the house and fixing all the things you haven't had time to fix? Because uh, we are, and uh, we've got company we want to come from Ohio. Jack's brother and his wife, they plan to visit us in July, and we're hoping that they can still come. We, I don't see why not. Maybe by then they'll make sure everybody's safe to get on the plane, safe to get off the plane. And <laughs> Anyway, we're kind of looking forward to things going somewhat back to normal. And, you know, we can be fairly smart and, you know, not encroach on other people's spaces and uh, wash our hands and, you know, come what may. Come what may. Um, we're here for as long as we've been meant to be here for. <laughs> and we better enjoy it while we can. I mean, prisoners, prisoners get sent to their houses and uh, house arrest, house arrest. So basically, and I know it was important and everything, basically we're all under house arrest. Now we're lucky here. We have a yard. We can go out in the yard. But uh, if I was in an apartment and in a room and maybe only having a balcony, um, this is very difficult for people. They need to get out and get some fresh air. So I'm hoping that, you know, everybody will still 
um, show their love for other people by appreciating their distance and going about doing what you have to do and uh, until they solve the problem and get it permanently gone um, uh, let's try and live life a little <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we, we're not going out too much. We're, we go grocery shopping once a week instead of twice. And Mom can't go because we hate to take her at 96 into the stores. But uh, Mother's Day, we're going on a flower trip to one of the garden centers, even Mom. And, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you gotta, you got to find some fun and enjoy life. And still be considerate. So, I hope I hope that you're uh, keeping your sunny side up, and uh, I hope this video wasn't too crazy. Sorry, and I keep trying different ways to get a close up, but still get to visit you. So, um, <laughs> that was my repot, and we're done. And hopefully, I I don't know. I was thinking about doing a video of, uh, it takes us about eight minutes to drive into town, but it's beautiful all along the lake and then drive out to the wharf and around and show you kind of what the area looks like. I'm not sure if you like that. Anybody that thinks they might like that, I could do a video of that. And up and coming very soon will be a video of the yard and all the things that come up. And I've been busy planting the vegetable garden and had some new great ideas out there. So until then, and until next time, stay safe, and I love you all. Bye now.